Matt Weavey from Proverb Fitness, Proverb Nutrition. Today we're going to do our fourth video on nutrient timing. So, so far we've covered the four habits that you need to uh, have before you ever start a nutrition program. And so with that, if you haven't seen that, go back to our first video. It's in our uh, YouTube channel. Um, the other things we've covered so far is calorie balance, and we've also uh, covered the uh, macros. And so today we're gonna to focus in on nutrient timing. Now, kind of to go back and talk a little bit about that before we start, remember, uh, calorie balance and macros makes up 80% of your diet. If you're not doing those things yet, don't worry about this part. All right, we'll cover that in a second, but don't worry about it. 80% uh, comes from, or 50%, excuse me, comes from calorie balance, and the other 30% comes from the macros. All right, so we're gonna get a little more detailed here. Um, and talk about when we want to time our nutrients. So we're looking at, we'll look at protein first. Um, protein, it takes hours for your body to digest protein. So you just want to steadily eat protein throughout the day. Um, don't necessarily worry about you get done in the gym and you pound that protein shake right when you get done. It, um, if you ate three hours before you went to the gym, you had a one hour workout, you're still using the amino acids from the protein that you ate three hours ago, four hours ago. Um, so don't worry too much about protein. Uh, carbs, we recommend that you base about 80% of your carbs in about a four or six hour window around your workout. So I might eat a pre-workout meal two hours before I work out with some uh, oatmeal, and then I do my workout, and then within two hours after working out, uh, I hit some, the rest of my carbs of that 80% for the day, and uh, that's gonna hit those numbers in about a five hour window if I had a one hour workout. Um, and so, like an example of that would be, I have 100 carbs for the day. Uh, my pre-workout, I'm looking at maybe 20 carbs. Uh, I do my workout and then I eat 60 carbs when I get done. Now I've had 80% in uh, 80 grams of carbs for the day. Um, the rest of the day, so around your meals you want protein and carbs. Uh, the rest of the day, you want that 20% of protein, or carbs coming from like vegetables, uh, and then you're eating protein in your meal still, and then you're adding your fats in at all other meals. Um, so we'll kind of splice some of that in so you can look at that while we're talking about it too. Yeah, and really the big thing here to focus on, as Travis hit on, protein, one of the big reasons, not only just for the amino acids kind of throughout the day, uh, it's also, uh, if you've ever eating your body weight and uh, protein, which is normally the prescribed amount for someone that is uh, doing uh, like weightlifting and that type of stuff. If you ever try to do that, it's tough to get you know 60 gram or sorry 100 grams of protein at one sitting. So spacing that out through the day allows you to get, where you don't you're not too full at, at different meals and also keeps you full uh, throughout the day as you eat. So uh, that's that's another big recommendation there on that protein. You want to space that out and uh, yeah that. Again, this, this is something that if you're not hitting your calorie balance, you're not hitting your macros each day, it's not gonna affect, um, it's probably a 10% um, performance gain or uh, loss if you're not doing this type of thing. So some takeaways today, uh, protein, as I just said a minute ago, try to um, have, have that at, um, equally at throughout the day so that you're eating uh, the same amount, you know, it would be 35 grams at each meal or um, you're having you know, 60s at, at uh, meals and then some snacks for 15s, whatever it looks like for your body type, um, you know, make sure you're splicing that throughout the day um, on, on the protein side. Yeah, another takeaway, uh, try to base your carbs around your workout. So uh, I always like to have some carbs pre-workout. Um, it helps me kind of get going, get through the workout, and then I eat the majority of my carbs within two hours after I work out. Yep. And then third takeaway is gonna be fats. Um, we're gonna put fats uh, away from the workout if we can. And that's, that's gonna make up our meals. Um, the, the other 20% of our meals is gonna deal with fats. And so uh, that, that helps, once again, keep you full. Uh, and also, you know, with, uh, the, if you're putting those carbohydrates around your workouts, it, uh, fats can help uh, basically slow down the blunt of, of getting the glycogen into the muscle. It's getting too scientific, but um, basically it just kind of slows that down. So we wanna try to have those fats um, away from, from that time and fill your, your other meals up. Um, we have fats. Yeah, and I don't know if you've ever eaten like 
a massive peanut butter sandwich before you worked out, uh, you probably didn't feel great. Yeah, you got so, the yeah, so the fats aren't going to help you move in the gym either. So uh, if you keep them away from your pre-workout and post-workout meal, then you'll probably feel a little better too. Yeah. Um, and then the final thing we want to say it again, I know Bo's already said it a couple times, is that uh, you don't need to worry about this if you're not already hitting calorie balance and already hitting the macros that you want to look at uh, with consistency. And when I'm talking about consistency, I'm looking at like 90% of the time. So if you look at a week and in that week, you know, you had three days where you didn't hit calorie balance, don't worry about timing yet. Go back to the four habits, go back to working on calorie balance and then start working your way up the list. Um, there's no way, no reason to try hit a 15% type of thing when you're missing the other 80 percent you're not going to see any results yeah, for sure and kind of sum this thing up uh, if you go back to our last video we talked about using uh, the uh, hand method to judge like fat being our thumb and, and our, your protein being the palm stuff like that so if you're adding that, that 80 percent of the carbs into your workouts you're basically just going to think of, of that's where you're going to add your carbs in all right and the other times you're going to have your protein and your fat coming from your Thumb. And so if you look back at that video, and we're, talk, we're talking kind of loosely here about macros and calorie balance, if you want to get really in depth with that and get your specific macros, like what you need specifically, uh, that, that comes a little, with a little more uh, work with a coach and really figuring out what works specifically for you. Uh, but if you just want to kind of get it in a, a ballpark, using those hand, the hand method of being able to say fats to your thumb, you know, a protein here, you just use that, apply the, the nutrient timing we're talking about, and you should have pretty good results. So. Um, yeah, if you uh, have any questions, again, as always, you can email us at bo at crossfitproverb.com or travis at crossfitproverb.com. We'd love to answer your questions. Um, and uh, as always, we'll be back next week with our final installation of our video series on to be on supplements. If you have any recommendations, you want to hear anything uh, new, or you want us to cover something on nutrition or training or something like that, we'd love to hear it. So uh, comment. Uh, below or you can comment on our Facebook page or wherever you saw the video at and we'd love to uh, help you out and keep dropping these knowledge bombs as we go along. So uh, as always, keep training hard.